In this scenario, we have an IDP10-T transmitter configured for a range of 0 to 30 inches of water in a tank level application. The tank is currently at a level of 15 inches and the display is reading 20 inches of water. In the following video, we will demonstrate how to use the single point calibration method in order to correct the 5 inch offset. The first step is to determine what the actual tank level is. In our specific case, it is 15 inches. The next step is to temporarily set the M1 LRV value to the actual tank level value. This is done by using the push buttons located below the LCD. The procedure is as follows. Press the next button and re-range will be displayed. Press enter and M1 URV will be displayed. Press next and M1 LRV will be displayed. Before proceeding, make note of the M1 LRV value. In this specific application, it is zero. Making note of this value is important due to the fact that we must restore this value later in the procedure. Okay, now press the enter button and the left hand most digit of the M1 LRV value will blink. Press next until this digit is changed to the most significant digit of the actual tank level. Once that is done, press enter and the next digit will blink. Press next until that digit is change to the next most significant digit of the actual tank level. Repeat this for the remaining digits. Once the last digit has been edited, the display will now show place DP. This allows us to move the decimal point. Press the next button until the decimal point is in the proper location. And when it is, press enter and cancel will be displayed. Press the next button, the word save will be displayed. Press enter and the transmitter will return to the measurement display. The next step in our procedure will be to calibrate the transmitter at the actual tank level. To do so, the procedure is as follows. Press the next button three times and calibrate will be displayed. Press enter and cal AT0 will be displayed. Press next and cal LRV will be displayed. Press enter and cal weight will be displayed. This may take several seconds. When Cal LRV has completed, LRV done along with the actual tank level should be displayed. At this point, press the next button six times and save will be displayed. Press enter and the transmitter should now display the actual tank level. The final step of this procedure is to restore the M1 LRV to its original value. In this demonstration that value is zero. In order to restore the M1 LRV the procedure is as follows. Press the next button and re-range will be displayed. Press enter, M1 URV will be displayed. Press next, and M1 LRV will be displayed. Press enter, and the first digit of the M1 LRV will blink. Press next, until that becomes the most significant digit of our M1 LRV value which in this example was zero. Press enter, the next digit will display. 
Press next until that digit has reached the desired value. Press enter, the next digit will display and repeat this procedure for the remaining digits. Once the last digit has been edited, place DP will be displayed, which will allow us to move the decimal place as desired. Press enter again, the word cancel will be displayed. Press next, save will be displayed. Press enter, and the transmitter should return to the display menu indicating the correct tank level and the procedure has been completed.